With 2022 just around the corner, I wanna share something that I tried in 2021 that just absolutely blew my mind. It changed the nature of my career, how I approached each day, the motivation I had, and I couldn't even believe how successful this trick was. To give you a brief backstory, back in 2020, I was really struggling. Uh, struggling personally uh, because of quarantine and also professionally because all work had dried up for the most part, at least for me. And I really was just feeling a bit aimless and, and couldn't figure out what I, I wanted to do moving forward. I tried a lot of different things, of course. I like to keep moving, um, but you know, I just couldn't help but feel like I was just throwing darts and I didn't have a clear sense of direction. So then I found this video by Jack Conti of Pomplamoose, and it was called something to the effect of how to create an annual plan. And I'd never heard of an annual plan before. I've heard of people saying, you know, what do you hope to be doing in five years, 10 years? But this idea of an annual plan really interested me. And in that video, which I'll link in the description, Jack talked about how you should write a letter to yourself from the future, telling yourself the things that you accomplished in a year. And that idea really, really blew my mind because you know, we always say like, I hope to do this, I want to do this, I'd like to do this, but we never say I did this and kind of create that concrete link between what we want to do and what we really believe we will do. So after I watched that video, I felt really inspired and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try this. So it was September of 2020, I wrote it um, as a letter to myself from September 2021, which is just a couple months ago, and I have it right here. And you'll see that it's uh, got a little pinhole because I pinned it to my wall right next to my bed. So every day when I woke up or whenever I went to bed, I could just look at it, stare at it. And here's the crazy thing. It worked. Now I'm gonna read to you little pieces of this so you can see what I'm talking about. So I said, it's September, 2021. I spent the last year diving deep into the LA community to enrich my career and personal life with other innovative creators and thinkers. Every week I reached out to someone new and touched base with an old contact. It was the best decision I've ever made in a year. Not only did I get more work than I've ever had, but I had people I trusted to lean on to outsource work and to get together with in my downtime. And then it goes on, it talks about some of my more specific goals. One of my goals was making $50,000 in a year. Another goal uh, was to work on a full length nature documentary, uh, to work with a full orchestra for the first time in my career, and to be able to outsource work to new people. Then on the bottom, it says areas of focus, and that was some more specific things that I thought I could uh, use. So the first one was improved presence on social media and YouTube, hello. Content and quality, personalized with on-camera appearances, blending humor and education. The next one was grow within your community. And then the last one was create more passive revenue streams such as non-exclusive music, sheet music, etc. So here's the thing, not all of these things came true. I didn't make $50,000 this year. Um, I didn't work on a full-length nature documentary, but I did work with a full orchestra for the first time in my career three times. I am now outsourcing work. I did reach out to someone almost every single week. I've created more passive revenue streams through my template on my website and the ebook. I have grown in the community and I've, as you can see, making YouTube videos. So why did this work? And, and what can I recommend to you all? I think when you write something down on paper to yourself as almost like a promise, it, it creates this sense of urgency, uh, drive, clarity, which I think is incredibly important because there's many things that you could do. But when you've listed out these specific things, it just can't help but drive it. And what was really interesting was I wasn't looking at this thing every day as a reminder of what I needed to do. It was more like as soon as I wrote it down, I had this sense of focus and clarity that I didn't before. And I would shock myself because I wouldn't look at it for like a month, for example. And then I'd go and look and I'd say, holy crap, I'm doing all these things and this, this, and this, I already did. And it was just this incredible journey for me and really, really inspiring. So I highly recommend if you wanna grow in your career, you wanna grow next year, even on a personal level, that you create some sort of an annual plan for yourself. It doesn't have to be incredibly specific and it doesn't have to be vast, but just find a couple specific points of things that you'd like to improve on. Write them down to yourself from the future saying all the things that you did, and in those instances, be specific about those goals, whether it's a financial goal, a health goal, you went to the gym twice a week. I also recommend that you find a balance between something that is just a complete overshot in terms of what you think you can accomplish, and something that's underwhelming. You wanna find something that's like, wow, if I did that, I would feel really, really good about myself and then write that down and commit yourself to it. Also, as this year closes, I just wanna thank you all. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers and people who found my work in 2021, and I wanna give you a huge thanks 
uh, for watching my channel, for taking the time to support me and listen to me. I hope you found the things that I've talked about helpful. Many of you have gone out and purchased my template, which is incredible and I really appreciate that. And I've got some updates planned for 2022 with regards to that, so I hope you'll stay tuned for that. In 2021, I have uploaded at least one video almost every week, so I probably have like 60 to 80 videos that I uploaded this year. In 2022, I'm deciding whether or not I'm gonna do a weekly upload or if I'm gonna space it out a little bit more so I can focus more time on each video. Not sure yet, but stay tuned for that and I think you'll all be okay either way, whatever I do. And lastly, I wanna give a huge thanks to everybody who supported me on Patreon. Some of you are still supporting me now, some of you came on and off, and either way, I deeply appreciate your support. It really has helped me to continue uh, making videos and doing this channel, which I really, really am passionate about. So thank you. And if you'd like to support me in 2022, after you've uh, recovered your Christmas expenses, <laughs> you can do so. The link is in the description, uh, so you can help me out there. Again, I'm wishing you all a very happy, healthy, and successful 2022. Thanks so much for this year. It's been a wild one, and I will see you next year.